Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. He could be tough to like, but I agreed with him most of the time. So, we were assholes together, I guess. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. Yeah, you do. Let me take all the risks. That's not what I mean, necessarily. It's what I mean. It's what we gotta do. It's in these situations that I'm starting to become slightly paranoid. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. They never know where their next meal is. That's a thing to say. I... I didn't mean... It's fine. Let's go. It doesn't really matter what you say there. Lee does not have a very pleasant response to what Amid says. Marshall's Hotel is round the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. Decision doesn't make itself. So yeah, you two go first. I'll go first. In case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Did Krista formally announce that she's pregnant? I may have missed it. I know there was some Just go nice and slow. I know there were some implications early on. And several more since. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Find me when you get down! What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotel's around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can! You're crazy! There's no other way.
Now things feel far too quiet. There wasn't any method with that previous section. All you basically did was click on any hotspot that popped up. I got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is civil. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Shh. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. I'm not taking any chances here. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? Yeah. I know who you are. You saw my car out front then. You see anything else you want in there? Not a whole lot left. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. Do for you the taking? Do you know what you took from me? I'm sorry. Whatever it is, whatever happened, you have to hear that I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything to me. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance. But I've got nothing left. <sighs> Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I heard her a long time ago. How? In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want? So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class, cancelled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. 
I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I would do it differently if I could. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. She deserved it. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. I fucked up. Yes, you did. How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. It doesn't have to be this way. You can't take care of anyone. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Look, I was bitten. You were what? Yeah. I probably don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. Okay, then. I'm sorry again for your family. Me too. I'm glad this didn't have to get violent. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> I had an 
accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. saved me. It's my fault. Everything is dangerous. Like you said. It's okay. You learn. I'm just glad that she is safe. And hasn't been harmed. Which way out? Through there. One thing that I am quite surprised about is that we leave our cleaver here, as well as Clementine's radio. Although after this experience, I don't think that she wants it anymore. Leads to the other room. There's nothing in there. Can we go? Yeah, of course. Yeah, there's nothing else to see here. Let's just go. Okay, I stand corrected. They smell horrible, which means you have to, too. Yuck. Okay. Oh, no. Don't worry, it's just a little intestine. We'll get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. There. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. We'll 
walk very slowly. Don't look around, and don't panic. Mm-hmm. I'll keep you safe. Wake up! Please don't be dead! Please, no! Lee! I, I was so scared! I, I... I thought you left me! I... I... I saw my parents! I know. They didn't get to you, right? No. We got away. They're dead, for sure. Get out of here as fast as we can. Oh, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, 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 that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three! See? Clementine, honey. My arm is gone because I cut it off. Why would you do that? Because I was bitten, Clem. Please, no. No. Th that's not true. Yes, it is. <sighs> it's gonna be okay. You are gonna be okay. We just have to think and work together. Okay. Ugh. 
<sighs> Get up, Lee. The door is right here. <sighs> I can't. You have to. Them, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up! I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? You're gonna have to make sure I don't turn. You won't, though. Clem, I will. You know what you have to do. No. I can't. There's no way. We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. You're doing good. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Just start by getting that door open. It's locked. It's uh. no big deal. It's just a glass window. Uh. Ow! Not with your hand. There's a chair over there. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Use the bat to shatter that window, so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. This'll be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. There are handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. Keys and a gun. You're gonna need both of those. You have to handcuff the walker. You can kill it easy then. I don't know, Lee. You can do it. Just be careful. Move around the side and jump away if he gets close. Lee. You can do it. Get the gun, Clem. Always the gun. Get him! Get him! Clem! No! Watch out! The bat, Clem! Get the bat!
did it! I got him! You can take care of yourself, see? No, not all the time. Yeah, you can. Don't worry. You're strong, Clem. You... you can do anything. But I'm little. Doesn't mean nothing. You go see bad stuff, but... it's okay. My parents... it's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now... you... please... please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay. Clem, I was standing over Duck holding that gun. It was so hard. I'm sorry you're in that position now. I give anything for you not to be. But you just have to point it at me. Close your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. I know you can. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I I can. Vanto meet and Krista. Probably looking for us right now. Stay on high ground. Don't go too far. You'll find them. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. <laughs> Keep that hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. And also... What? What is it? No, don't worry.
top the crags and cliffs the air is thin so we'll find a mountain path on down the hill meet me where the snow melt blows it is there my dear where we'll begin again Take a spell.